when University of Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger was arrested. This woman couldn't believe her eyes. I recognized him immediately and my heart just sank because I couldn't believe that like I was face to face with this guy. Nurse Haley Willette says they met on Tinder in 2015 when they were both psych majors at Pennsylvania colleges. He took her to a movie, then insisted on escorting her to her dorm room. I was kind of afraid to say no, so I just let him come in with me. Then he did something she says she'll never forget. He kept trying to tickle me and I would ask him to stop or I'd say, what are you doing? And he would be like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not tickling you. And he would get very serious. Creeped out by Koberger, she came up with a clever ruse. I proceeded to pretend to throw up in the bathroom, hoping that, you know, it would gross him out and he would leave. Did it work? Yeah. He um, had messaged me on Tinder and said that he was leaving and that he had a good time and that he would message me later. And then about an hour later, he messaged me and he said that I had good birthing hips and I just never messaged him back after that. After what happened to the four Idaho students, Haley thinks she had a lucky escape. It could have been me. And this woman says she knows and sympathizes with what Dylan Mortensen is going through. Dylan is one of the two surviving roommates and didn't call 911 for eight hours, despite coming face to face with the killer. She told police she was in frozen shock. She is not to blame for anything. Absolutely not. Alana Zabel is a yoga instructor who attended Buffalo University in New York. She lived with four sorority sisters and suffered an eerily similar trauma. One night in 1992, a rapist broke into their home and attacked a student. Alana heard the attack, saw evidence that there had been a break in and even saw bloodstains. Yet she convinced herself nothing was wrong. I felt someone in my room and I, I lifted up my head and there was no one there, but then the front door closed. She waited six hours to call 911 and will never forget the horrific scene she found in her housemate's bedroom. Her mattress was three quarters of the way soaked with blood. The walls were covered in blood. Everything was covered in blood. She says the murders of the four students in Idaho brought back nightmarish memories. She fears Dylan, the surviving roommate, is likely to be traumatized for years to come. She's going to beat herself up for the rest of her life, so we don't need to do that for her. The attorney representing the family of one of the slain roommates says Dylan is also a victim in this case, adding that she provided information about the assailant which proved beneficial.